Okay, so today we are going to actually see how to build an API uh, on the Web Methods API Gateway uh, directly using uh, Swagger. So if you have the Swagger file of the API you want to onboard onto the Gateway, we're going to actually start demonstrating how to do that. It's, a, it's quite simple uh, to do it with the Gateway. So uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the classic uh, uh, pet store API. So you can access it over here and the uh, swagger file is available at this uh, endpoint so if you click on it it will take you to the swagger um, you can test out the apis by doing um, try out so let's just put a pet id one I'm going to execute it and it says that yes there's a uh, pet so this might keep changing because people are using this and posting different payloads so it might change from time to time to try out another pet, uh, yeah, that two access 11, one and 11 access. So we're going to start by uh, keeping a copy of the Swagger link, and this is the API gateway. I've used uh, uh, the Docker instance of it. If you have not seen my previous videos on how to set up the Docker instance of the API gateway, which is uh, the most easiest way to set up the gateway rather than going ahead and installing it uh, please uh, have a look at it in my uh, tutorial uh, links um, now assuming that you have the gateway set up log in with the uh, default credentials you can then go on to the list of apis uh, there are a couple of the previous samples that i have actually demonstrated so we'll start off by clicking on create api now in the create API you have different options. Last time we saw how to create an API from uh, scratch. Uh, this time we're going to actually uh, create an API from import API from URL. So let's switch the type of the API from Swagger. Put a link to the Swagger file. And here I'll give it uh, my API name. So I'll call it my pet API. So here on the API listing or on the API creation page, we have the URL of the Swagger filled out. We have filled in the name of the API. And at this stage, you can give it a brief description. Let's say uh, pet store API on the gateway. Okay, and we click on create API. So now the uh, gateway imports the Swagger from the destination and it creates uh, all the resources uh, of the actual api you can see post uh, and different apis uh, sorry different resources and all those resources are listed over here so we go ahead and click on activate say yes you get the name of the uh, endpoint over here now this is the resource or the, this is the api endpoint that you need to share with your consumer so let's uh, have the resource copied or the URL of the resource copied and we paste it over here on the uh, Postman. So in Postman, you have pasted the link to the API. I uh, have to change this to localhost 5556 um, as my API is running or my gateway is running on the triple five six port. Now, if you were to access this API in this form, it would say uh, resource not found because there are various resources on the API. So I'm going to actually click on one of the resources, which is called pet. Let's say I send another request. Again, uh, it doesn't know uh, what to actually activate. So let's give the one pet that we were supposed to actually retrieve so you can see the result actually is here uh, let's say we access it with 11 yeah this is the other uh, pet that we were actually seeing now you can give different uh, names and uh, you'll find different uh, examples that people are actually trying out uh, and this is varying from different um, uh, information that has been posted by uh, the people on, on, on the internet. So uh, as you can see, uh, we have quickly just using the Swagger file 
actually imported the swagger on uh, on the api gateway you can see the various resources that are supported uh you can access all of these resources i've i've just used this uh, slash pet uh, by id but you could use the other resources in the same fashion actually so this is a quick way to onboard the api on the gateway uh, just using uh, the swagger of the uh, you know uh, native api so if anybody were to give you a rest api to actually onboard on the gateway the simplest and the quickest way to actually onboard it is if you get the swagger of the, of the actual api now this doesn't have to necessarily be a url you could even uh, uh, onboard the api just using the swagger file itself so if you come on to create and you could even choose swagger and have the file uh, in a zip form or in a dot json form imported over here and you can go ahead and create the api as well so hope uh, you like the video if you have any other queries or if you'd like to follow on the other tutorials um, there's a link in the description box to a playlist of all the videos uh, which i am uh, performing on the api gateway if you have any questions uh, please put them in the comment box thank you for watching the video